Hello dear friends and a warm welcome. In today's competitive field, it is essential for the young people to get into a good profession. A good profession should bring you decent salary. It should be reputed of course and there should be good growth prospects. Microbiology is such a profession which fits into all of these three criteria. Microbiology is a study of microorganisms. It is becoming very popular these days. If you are good at biology, you have keen interest in learning the life sciences, you learn the microbiological skills properly and are confident of yourself, then believe me, this field would be just amazing for you. Myself, Dr. Tripti Malik Ahuja, Associate Professor in Microbiology, I am your tutor and mentor for the preparation of the competitive exams and for career opportunities. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of the new videos. What is microbiology? How can you do a course in microbiology? What are the career prospects of this field? To know all of this, watch this video till end. Now I am sharing my screen for the further details. First of all, let's see what is microbiology. Microbiology is the study of microorganisms. These microorganisms can be bacteria, fungi, protozoa, viruses, or there can be microscopic algae also. The study of microbiology is very interesting and it offers good job opportunities. When you earn a degree in microbiology, then you can enter into the academics or healthcare sector, diagnostic companies, pharma sector, the food sector, or you can become an entrepreneur. That means you can become a boss of your own. So first of all, how can you become a microbiologist? For becoming a microbiologist in the class 11th and 12th, you should have studied physics, chemistry, biology or biotechnology. Then you can appear a test for the admission to the graduate course, the BSc course in microbiology, which is usually a three year or a six semester class. There can be the direct entry or there can be the entry through the entrance exams which can be conducted by the state universities or by the central universities or by the autonomous bodies. If you feel very much interested and you want to go for the further studies, then after your graduation, you can also go for the post-graduation in the microbiology, which is a two-year or the four-semester program. If you have not done the BSc course in microbiology and still you feel interested for the microbiology, you have done the BSc in the other life sciences courses like the botany, zoology, biochemistry, biotechnology, bioinformatics, then still you can go for the postgraduate course in the microbiology. For the entry into the postgraduate course, there can be a direct merit-based entry or there can be again the entrance exams conducted by the state universities or by the central universities. So you have to watch for the notifications by different universities and the colleges for entry into the graduate and the postgraduate courses. Now, if you complete the BSc in microbiology, so that means you have completed the bachelor's course and you have studied microbiology for three to four years, then you can get the decent opportunities in the government sector, the state or the central government in the PSUs like the oil companies, ONGC, also in the railways, these advertise vacancies every year for the graduate in microbiology. If you qualify an exam which is conducted by the Food Corporation India, you can become 
food inspector or the food safety officer again which is a very nice job you can also do some jobs in the hospitals these can be either the private or the government hospitals here you would be given the profile for the diagnosis of the patients and although the starting salary is less the working hours may involve night shifts also and but if you get the experience this salary will definitely improve a graduate in the microbiology can also become patents officer after qualifying an exam which is conducted by ministry of commerce the government of india the salary and benefits of a patent officer are pretty nice if you have the zeal to study and you feel motivated for better future prospects you can also go for the higher studies you can go for the post graduate study then for the doctoral studies and also the post doctoral now if you complete the msc course in the microbiology which is a two year course or it is done in the four semesters then you can go to the academics in the colleges the institutes or in the universities you can get the teaching position in the colleges universities and for better position you should qualify the exam which is conducted by the ugc it is the csir ugc net exam or the state level exam called the slet exam an upcoming job in teaching field is these days is that of the online tutor the scientific writers it can be also a job it can be both in the offline or in the online mode content writers blog writers copy editors they are in good demand the government jobs openings are also there there are vacancies in the state and central government again in the psus in the health department of the government as the hygiene and the safety officer the uh, state government public service commission which is called psc also recruit microbiologist the pharmaceutical industries in quality control in quality assurance and in the environmental monitoring departments in pharmaceutical industry you can get a good job in the food industries in the fmcg companies in the cold drinks or in the beverages bottling plants in the water purifiers industries the jobs are given to the microbiologist at very attractive packages agriculture companies they also offer the job for the preparation of the fertilizers they also recruit microbiologist research positions are also there you can get a research job you can either enter into a government funded project or where you can get the fellowship or if you qualify for the ugc csir net exam then you can get a fellowship and you can also get enrolled in the phd program which is a doctor of the philosophy and you can also go for the post doctoral research in india and also abroad self employment and entrepreneurs yes you can be your own boss you can set up a startup industry a plant for production of any microbial product like mushrooms compost biofertilizers you can also open up your consultancy firm where you can give the advice and your expertise regarding the microbiological related projects microbiologists they can also work as freelancers they can give their services as and when required you can also set up a diagnostic laboratory for this you require a certification from the nabl and a signing authority with who is either the anti microbiology or pathology has to be there so you can see there are immense opportunities in the field of microbiology if you want to explore further you have any questions you have any doubts then you are most welcome you can write in the comment section 
Thanks for your watching. Bye and best wishes.